Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're not new, hi again. This is my channel. I love doing everything DIYs. I love Dollar Tree DIYs. I also love to do wreaths and I also love to do thrift flips. So if you like what you see, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think and also give me a thumbs up because that helps my channel. You can also find me on Instagram and Pinterest and also Facebook. And now recently, I started my own wreath shop on Etsy. So it's called Krista's Wreath Designs. And there it is right there for you, um, the name of it. There's no spaces. And I will have a link down below in my description box. Now today is all about five under $5 with Crafty Cove, Farm Charm Chic and Connie's Creative Creation is the co-host. So let's start with DIY number one and I will get into more of that in a little bit. So the first DIY, we're gonna be using one of these little houses from the Dollar Tree, this little 3D um, from the Dollar Tree and also this word rejoice and then a piece of scrapbook paper. I'm also going to be using these colors Antique Wax, Truffle by Waverly, and also White by Waverly. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to trace out the inside for our little house. So what I'm using is the scrapbook paper and that is going to go on the inside. I just traced it out and then I cut it out. Next, I'm going to go in with my Antique Wax by Waverly and I'm going to stain this whole entire house. I'm gonna do the sides. I'm also gonna do the insides as well. Everything is going to get stained and then I'm also gonna stain this little piece where your little figurines go into, the little wood pieces. And so I stained that also with the antique wax as well. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue that to the bottom, which you will see in a second. Next, I'm going in with my truffle by Waverly and I am going to paint this whole um, scene here, which is Jesus being born on Christmas. And so I'm doing the little stable here and also the three wise men, Mary, Joseph, and the little baby. And I also did the re word rejoice as well. Next, I'm going to go in with some of my white Waverly chalk paint, and I'm just going to do a dry brush on this. So my brush is hardly even wet with paint and I'm just dry brushing to make it look a little more weathered and rustic. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with all the pieces as well. And then we're gonna put this whole thing together. So I absolutely love um, how this turned out. It turned out so cute. Um, and this like hardly costed anything, you guys. So, I mean, very simple to make. I love these little 3D figurines that Dollar Tree came out with. And there are other ones too that you could make. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna dry brush um, on the house as well. I wasn't going to, but then I looked at it and I said, you know what, I just feel like it needs something. So I went in and I dry brushed with the white um, paint as well in the inside of the house and all along the sides and in the back. Now I made this look finished. I did the back as well. I painted everything because this is something that I would sell at my craft shows that I do. So I always try to make everything look like a finished product. Um, and I know if somebody's looking, they can look behind it and be like, oh, she didn't paint the back, you know, or whatever. So I always make sure I do everything. <laughs> It's this way nobody could say anything, right? <laughs> and then it would bother me anyway, so that's why I do it. But you don't have to. I mean, that's just me. And so after I get done dry brushing everything, we're going to put it together. And I'm going to be using, um, oh, first we're going to put the inside, sorry, that scrapbook paper that we cut out in the beginning. We're going to insert that inside. And all I did was use some Mod Podge and I um, stuck it down. Now I'm going to take that little piece that the figures go into, that little wood piece, and I put some E6000 and also some hot glue on it because I wanted to make sure it's going to stay and not fall off. And then I just made sure once it was set, I put it up to make sure it stood up and we're good. 
So next, I'm going to start putting all my little figurines in, but first I'm going to put the um, front part of that stable in. So I'm just going to glue that down with some hot glue, and I just put it on the bottom, and then they fit right in those little slats on the bottom of that little wood piece. So this makes it really nice because it makes it nice and secure and helps them to stand up. So I really, really like this. And then once we get that down, then I'm going to start gluing in my other pieces. So yes, I'm going to talk a little bit more about today. Today is five under five. That means that we have to spend under $5 for each um, DIY that we do. So there's five of them that you're going to see today and they're each under $5, which makes it super cheap and great on a budget. And it shows you how you can make things and make them look really nice even though you're not spending that much money. And like I said, um, I will have the playlist down below and also the links to Missy's channel and Farm Charm Chic and also um, Connie's Creations. So they will all be on the bottom. Their channels and also the playlist so you can follow everybody and check out them and get some more inspiration. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to glue down that Rejoice. And then I had this little pick that I had. I got these at the Dollar Tree as well. They were like three or four of them in a pack. And I'm just going to put that on the top of my house. I thought that that would just bring everything really nice and make it look really pretty. But what I wanted to do is I wanted it to look a little snowy. So what I did is I just took my little chippy brush and all I did was just dry brush the little bristles on it. And there you go, there's your snow on your little um, berries and your little greenery. Really simple thing to do, I do it all the time. Um, so if you don't find any pieces and you want a little snow on them, there you go. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some hot glue on that and then we're just going to um, put it down on the top of our house and I'm gonna make sure it sets really good. And that's it, you guys, look how cute. Now, you can put a candle in this, like one of those little tea lights, that's what I did, and here it is all lit up. This one turned different colors, it was sort of like a Christmassy one, so it turned green, red, and blue, which I absolutely love. So like I said, today is all about five, under $5, and this is our host, is Missy and Emily, and then our co-host is Miss Connie. So now on to DIY number two. Next, I got these little trees already made like that from um, Walmart, and they were only 98 cents each. So I bought three of them, and then I already had those little um, stumps, like, I don't know, they're little stumps of wood, I guess you could say. And I had a pack of these little Merry Christmas signs. So what I did, and they're just plastic. So what I did is I cut all my tags off. I drilled a little hole in those little stumps. And you could buy a whole bag of these at Hobby Lobby or sometimes the Dollar Tree has them. And they're really nice to use for stuff like this. So what I did is I drilled a little hole because I wanted to make sure that these were going to stay in place. But first, I wanted to color two of these because they were silver. So I just, they look too plasticky. So I wanted them to kind of look a little bit sharper. So what I did is I painted one black and then I painted the other one white and I left the one red. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Mod Podge and I'm going to use my little sponge and put it on the top of my little stumps. And then I have this really cute, really uh, cool, sorry, um, like it's like um, glitter, but it's real chunky and it's called shaved ice. And I'll leave a link down in my scripture box. I got this on Amazon and I absolutely love it. I use it all the time, especially during Christmas. And then what I did is I just stuck my little trees in the little hole and I held it till it's set with the hot glue. And that was it for this DIY, guys. And then I just went in with those little Merry Christmas signs and I put them on the bottom and I just glued them down in front of my trees. And I mean, you could put these on tear trays, you could just display them on your counters, I mean, just wherever you want. And I just love how these turned out. And I mean, for 98 cents, I mean, how could you go wrong, right? 
And all you had to do is just spruce them up a little bit. So, so easy. So now you'll look at them in a minute. I'm just gluing them down. There's one. And the other one I put in the black and then one I did with the white like that. And these came out so adorable, you guys. But I want you guys to let me know which one of these you like the most in the description box. Make sure you let me know in the comments. And here they are, a little close up. Now next is DIY number three. Now this one was so much fun to make. I actually saw somebody else do this, but I can't remember who it was. But they took one of these pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. It's just a wooden pumpkin and it looks square. And I'm just gonna use some of these little bells, this little rustic things. These were all in my stash, you guys. And first I did, I wanted to get that glitter off. Even though all of this is going to be covered, I still didn't want glitter everywhere, so I just took it off. And then I went in with the folk art in linen, and I just painted the front, the back, and the sides of this because this is something that I will be selling as well at my craft show. And that's coming up very soon, so I'm kind of doing a double duty here. I'm doing stuff for my craft show and trying to make stuff for you guys to see. So there's my bells. What I did is I didn't like the silver, so I took some of my truffle and that little sponge dabber thing, and I just um, dabbed it with my sponge, and it makes it look rustic and old. So now I took some of this fox um, fur that you could get at Hobby Lobby. Now this one I had in my stash already, so I didn't have to buy it because I use these, I make gnomes all the time. So this was just another neat way to make one. And what I did is I cut it kind of like in a rectangle and I'm gonna wrap it around like that on my little pumpkin there. And I'm gonna use, um, first I'm gonna glue it down and I'm gonna use a half bead for the nose. You can also get these on Amazon. They're the wooden beads and they're like sliced in half. And I'll leave the um, link in my descri description box if you're interested in getting those on Amazon as well. And they're really cheap and you can get a lot. So there's that and I glued it all down nice. And now we're gonna put our nose down and this is one of those socks from the Dollar Tree right now that they have, and you get a set of two. So you can get two for a dollar here, and you can make two of these. So really, really cool. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, is glue down my little nose and put that down. And we're kind of going to make a rustic gnome. I like the rustic look, so that's what I was going for here. And then I'm just going to glue it down in the front around the nose area just to make sure it stays put. Now, I know you can't really see the nose that good, but I did push it up afterwards. So, because I noticed, I'm like, you can't see the nose. But don't worry, I pushed it up and you can see the nose now. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this polyfill stuff that is usually in your pillows. You can use an old pillow, whatever you have, or you could buy a bag. And you just stuff the inside of it, just the bottom part of the hat, because I want it to kind of go over onto the side. And then I ended up um, seaming it up in the back because I don't want anything coming out. So I just used my hot glue gun for that. And then I had to trim it a little bit. And then we're gonna make our little ball at the end. So what I did is I took some of this um, flower wire, from, floral wire from the Dollar Tree and I just strung through my little bells and I did three of them. And then I just kind of like twisted them together so they're real tight. And then what I did is I just used the floral wire and I just um, put it around the bottom part of the sock there. So it can kind of make like a little tassel on the bottom of belts. Super, super cool and really easy to do. And I love how the bells look because they turned out so nice and rustic. And I just love that. And then I just cut off the excess. And then next, we're going to um, tie on that little snowflake that looks rustic. <laughs> Sorry, that was my dogs. My um, little rustic... Um, Sorry guys, my dogs are barking. And then what I did is I took that little um, snowflake and I just glued that on the bottom part of my gnome. 
And then I went in with one of these little branches. You could buy a whole pack at the Dollar Tree. And I just put a little part on the bottom and I just twisted it on. Made it look real rustic. And there it is, you guys. This was so simple, so easy, you guys, and so cheap. So I absolutely love the way it turned out. But you'll have to let me know which one's the best in the comments down below. So now on to DIY number four. This one's super cute. I got this little uh, sign from the Dollar Tree, some of that ribbon, and then I went on my Cricut and I printed that out on my Cricut. So first thing I did is I wanted to try and sand that Inspire word off of here because I didn't want to have to keep painting a lot over it because it was black. So I went in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and I just um, try to paint and make an even coat without like hitting those lines because I'm keeping those lines, but I'm gonna change one of them. I'm gonna change the color on it. Cause we really make this look like, kind of like a stop sign, I guess. So now I'm gonna go in with my little graffiti. Um, these are paint markers and I am going to paint the gold line red. And I did do two coats with my pen on here and I try to go as straight as possible but I mean it doesn't have to be perfection so I just kind of went with the line and then made my own and made it look good and then I kept the black and so there it is all done so now I had a hard time with this transfer tape and I don't know why you guys so if you know anything about crickets please tell me because my vi my vinyl would not come off okay I wanted to stay on. It like took me forever to get it off. So if you have a tip, please let me know because I don't know what I was doing wrong. And next what I did is I took some of this ribbon that looks like a candy cane and I just um, glued it around the whole um, sign. And that was just another little something to put on it. And I put my vinyl on and I didn't show me putting the vinyl on because I was having so much trouble so you guys let me know in the description box what you guys do and what's your little tips and tricks because mine did not work. But it says, Dear Santa, please stop here. And I think it's super cute once I got it on. So now on to DIY number five. This one is so quick, so easy. Don't blink, you might miss it. So I got this Dollar Tree ornament and also this Dollar Tree little, um, it's a little clip and it's like kind of like a, it looks like a camera almost, but it's not. But it's got this little lens on it. So we don't need the clip. So I'm just taking it off and it screws right off. So now this ornament is plastic. It's not styrofoam, but you could use a styrofoam one if you wanted to. But I just took my wood burning tool and I just melted a circle to the size of that little, um, that little lens that looks like a camera. And I just kept melting it down until I got it perfect. So if you don't have a wood burning tool, you could try using your, um, you know, little knife, your little exacto knife, or you know, any craft tool that you have. Um, but this was easy for me to do with the plastic, so I found it to be very helpful. And then once I got it in there, just the right size, I just glued around the edges and glued it down in there. And can you guess what we're making, guys? It's a Santa cam. Of course, everybody wants one of these when you have little kiddos. Um, I have li five little ones, and they're all um, nine, eight, two seven-year-olds, and a six-year-old. So yeah, Santa needs to be watching them. So I am going to be putting this up in my tree. So then I just took some black letters from the Dollar Tree and I just kind of glued them down with some super glue because I wanted to make sure they were going to stay stuck because this was felt on the outside and I knew they wouldn't stay down. So there it is, my little Santa cam. So what do you guys think? I think it's so cute. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and don't forget to leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. I always like to hear what you guys think. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.